need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. Many new Excel users make the mistake of thinking that because they have selected all the cells that they can see within a column or across a row, that they have selected the entire column or row. Selecting a few visible cells on screen is not the same thing as selecting an entire column or row. To properly select an entire column or row, you must click the heading of the columns or rows where the actual ABC is located for columns or the 1, 2, 3 is located for rows. When you click one, you will see the entire column or row become selected, including the column or row heading, which becomes highlighted. To select a range of adjacent columns or rows, simply click and drag across the column or row headings to select them. To select non-adjacent columns or rows, Click the first column or row heading that you would like to select, then hold down the control key on your keyboard, and then click the other column or row headings that you would like to include in order to select them as well. You can also select every single column and row within the entire worksheet by clicking the small box that is located at the intersection of the column and row headings. When you click it, all columns and rows within the worksheet will become selected. Be careful when you do this, as if you try to perform a calculation on that much data, you will probably crash your computer. However, this can be effectively used to perform small formatting tasks like changing the font or font size that's used throughout the entire worksheet. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.